Now, for financial markets, it's been a roller coaster ride, from the downturn caused by lockdowns to a resurgence triggered by hopes of a vaccine and stimulus from governments and central banks. If you're a stock investor, you could be forgiven for the shell shock you're still feeling after the bombardment that COVID-19 rained on the markets this year. The financial bloodshed exacted massive corporate upheaval, leaving victims strewn on the battlefield, but also rewarding those that weathered the blitz. Let's have a pick through the carnage. The U.S. market, as a bellwether for the world, was already primed for an end to its remarkable 11-year bull run. Growing disquiet about COVID-19 spreading outside China brought that to an abrupt end as a prelude to the widely accepted beginning of the coronavirus crash on February the 20th. Then, kaboom! The disquiet crescendoed five days later with a single statement that some say triggered the collapse. A high-level CDC official projecting community spread of the virus with the ominous warning that this could be bad. The shrapnel from that blast caused widespread injury. Markets worldwide reported their biggest single-week declines since the 2008 financial crisis. For Wall Street... It was the fastest correction in market history, as investors shuddered at the certain recession ahead. The following week, governments and monetary chiefs scrambled stimulus measures and interest rate cuts. And above the din, many promises to save jobs were futile, as industries reeled from being shut down. Some resistance ensued until, bang, Another bomb hits the market, this time from Saudi Arabia. The price war with Russia, complicated by the pandemic, sending crude to its biggest slump since the 91 Gulf War. Stocks skidded on the oil slick, the Dow Jones racking up its biggest intraday loss ever, on a day that became known as Black Monday. Two days later, the World Health Organization declared a global pandemic, Another armor-piercing detonation that sent the markets into further contortions. Black Monday was followed by Black Thursday. Black Thursday followed by Black Monday again. By March the 23rd, the trough of the crash, the market had lost 36% and countless billions of dollars. Now, the superlatives describing the crash piled up. The biggest market slump since the Great Depression, the sharpest economic downturn in almost a century. The COVID-19 pandemic had nuked the markets. Investors took eight months to climb out of the trenches. Falling mortality rates among COVID-19 patients and unprecedented government support coming to the rescue, even as the pandemic continued its attack. And then from the flank, the cavalry arrives. An announcement by Pfizer and BioNTech that its vaccine against COVID-19 was 95% effective. Economies are still under siege, but... Hopes of a vaccine have altered the trajectory of economic forecasts and helped to turn defence into attack for battle-weary investors.